A woman whose boyfriend is accused of killing her in a hit and run was scheduled to meet with a domestic violence counselor that same week. WMTW News 8's Norm Carcos was in Lewiston as friends remembered Ladrina Cubaloso. Two weeks ago, our sister Ladrina got killed in this very place I was standing. Members of the Lewiston community gathered today at the very spot where Londrina Cubaluso and her unborn child were killed in a hit and run. Police say her boyfriend, Evariso Deuce, was behind the wheel. Friends and group leaders came not only to honor her, but also to speak out about what they say is yet another tragic ending to domestic violence. This is what domestic violence is. Mm -hmm. This is this ill that is rampant in all cultures, mm -hmm. not just immigrant cultures. Kubaluso's friends say she and Deuce had an odd relationship and that she feared for her life. Some say she started to take steps to end her relationship and was scheduled to meet with a domestic violence counselor. Landrina was killed on Tuesday. She was scheduled to come to our office on Friday at noon mm -hmm. to seek for services. Yeah. Yeah. Now October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month and a large part of today's message was for this community to take a stand against domestic and sexual violence. On feel like it's just a matter of communicating or telling the police what is going on, not uh, waiting until the last moment. But members of the community say, unfortunately, many people in Lewiston's African culture don't always seek out the proper services because they simply don't know how or who to turn to. We need to um, help the victim who needs education, awareness, who doesn't know how to access services. We need to create awareness around domestic violence. In Lewiston, Norm Carcos, WMTW News 8.